First of all, the path to becoming a nurse or a doctor are two completely different routes. Both doctors and nurses must undergo intensive training to enter into the medical profession. The amount of time it takes to become a doctor or a nurse depends on the country where you live and the level of qualification you hope to achieve. Here in Nigeria, nurses are considered inferior to doctors or considered to have a lower social status than doctors. A lot of people in this society view nurses as subordinates, forgetting that we need nurses just as much as we need doctors. They think of nurses as just nurses and that they are not smart enough to become doctors. Some people even think that becoming a nurse is the first step to becoming a doctor. They would ask you questions like, will you become a doctor after your degree in nursing? And you will have to start explaining to them how nursing is different from medicine, how there are two parallel lines and how their job descriptions are different. So many people underestimate nurses. They will tell you that you are selling yourself short to become a nurse and not a doctor. In fact, they will tell you that you are smart enough to become a doctor as if being a nurse is for dumb people. For guys in nursing, these questions are even 10 times more because a lot of people still believe that the profession is only for females. What's worse is when you have uncles or other siblings that are doctors. You constantly get compared to them and looked down on because you want to be a nurse. They would ask you why you didn't go all in and become a doctor. They would ask you why you are settling for nursing. All of these questions can be so overwhelming sometimes. Hello there, this is Medzone TV, home to medical school excellence. Medzone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of web-packed activities ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical contents, fascinating videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. In this video, we are going to be comparing and contrasting the paths to becoming a nurse and a doctor so that students interested in pursuing a career in healthcare can easily choose between nursing school and medical school. Please sit back, relax, and listen. If you have genuine interest in healthcare and in making a difference to people's lives by helping to alleviate their pain and suffering, then a career in nursing or medicine may be right for you. To become a nurse or a doctor, you will first have to get admitted into nursing school or medical school. In general, medical school is harder to get into than nursing school, although nursing school is getting more and more competitive every day. There are two routes to getting admitted into medical school in Nigeria, either through JAM UTME or via direct entry after completing a degree in the university or having the required A-level results. According to JAM, the agency responsible for the regulation of admission into tertiary institutions in Nigeria, only about 2% of the people who apply to study medicine yearly get admitted into medical school. The route to becoming a nurse is quite different. To become a nurse in Nigeria, the training pathway established by the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria NMCN, requires you to go through the nursing training either in a university, school of nursing, or school of basic midwifery. The training in a school of nursing is a hospital-based one that runs for three years and leads to the award of a certificate in general nursing. The program is designed to allow the nursing student to learn in the classroom for half of the period of the training and the other half, the student will be on clinical posting. Similarly, the School of Midwifery offers a training package that trains midwives for a period of three years. Getting admitted into any of these programs is usually very competitive but not as competitive as getting admitted into medical school. Moving on, the duration of training in nursing school or medical school to become a nurse or a doctor are completely different. Medical school in Nigeria generally takes six to seven years to study to get certified and practice as a medical doctor. However, if you decide to specialize after graduating with your medical degree, you will need to complete an additional five to seven years worth of postgraduate training where you will specialize in a specific area of medicine such as pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, internal medicine, family medicine, surgery, and many more. The six years of medical school is no joke. During this time, medical students are faced with a lot of challenges such as heavy academic workloads, excessive competition amongst themselves, overwhelming emotional stress, and many more. Medical school takes a great deal of time and effort, and this might be the reason why some people may pick nursing school over medical school. We have a video that breaks down the six years of medical school in Nigeria so that you can know exactly what to expect. I will be leaving the link to this video in the description. The duration of training to become a nurse in Nigeria depends on the training pathway an individual takes to attain the professional status. 
The training in a school of nursing or midwifery usually takes a period of three years. Nurses are also trained in several universities in Nigeria. The program usually runs for a period of five years and nurses who pass through this training route are awarded a bachelor's degree in nursing science as well as a professional certification by the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria. This pathway allocates more time for classroom learning for student nurses as compared to school of nursing or midwifery. In the fourth year of their study, student nurses attempt the professional examination for the award of a certificate in general nursing (ARUN), and in the fifth year, the study midwifery and public health nursing which is often optional. Upon graduation from nursing school, nurses can decide to specialize in several areas such as anesthetic nursing, perioperative nursing, geriatric nursing, accident and emergency nursing, and many more. Most of these programs run for a period of one to two years unlike postgraduate residency training that may take five to seven years to complete depending on the specialty you choose after medical school. Moving on, what is the stress level between nursing school and medical school? To be honest, both nursing school and medical school are extremely stressful. The sheer volume of information nursing and medical students must learn, absorb, and retain within a very short period of time is extraordinary. The hefty workload oftentimes causes students to feel overwhelmed. Having to balance course workload, exams, skills lab, and clinical rotations or posting simultaneously with personal and family obligations can be very overwhelming. Because of the amount of stress these students face, it is not uncommon for nursing and medical students to have exam anxiety. Nursing school and medical school exams are really straightforward and students have to think critically during exams as most of their questions are complex multiple choice questions where every answer might be correct but one is more correct than the others. Medical or nursing school will throw a lot of information at you than anyone can fully handle. The clinical rotations can be back-breaking with a lot of sleep deprivation. Days that don't seem to end and friends and loved ones who don't understand how much of a commitment medical and nursing school can be. There's always this fear that anything could happen and you can be asked to repeat a class or leave the program for failing an exam. Both medical school and nursing school are extremely tough, but at the end of the day, it is worth it. How hard is it to find a job as a nurse or a doctor? Well, the truth is getting a job as a nurse or a doctor can vary depending on your location, experience, and qualifications. However, it is fairly easy to get a job as a nurse or a doctor compared to other professions or occupations as not every university degree offers the benefit of easily finding a job shortly after graduation. As scary as this may sound, it is important to note that you might not find a job immediately after graduation. It may take more than a single attempt to find your first job and that is perfectly fine. Doctors and nurses can easily relocate to countries like the United States of America or the UK and get a job as a medical professional. In fact, there is increasing migration trend among Nigerian medical professionals and very recently, lawmakers are proposing to pass a bill to prevent and stop the migration of Nigerian trained doctors abroad. This bill is proposing that Nigerian trained medical doctors must serve in the country for at least five years before they are given a full practicing license that will allow them to move out of the country to practice abroad. It is important to note that nurses can easily move from one specialty to another while searching for jobs unlike doctors who have to go back to school to re-specialize if they want to get a job in another specialty. Overall, the employment opportunities of doctors and nurses are high because of the critical role they play in maintaining the health and well-being of individuals in the society. Moving on, what is the scope of practice of doctors and nurses? By scope of practice, I mean the activities that a person licensed to practice as a health professional is permitted to perform, that is, their roles and duties in the hospital. It is the duty of the doctor to diagnose and treat a patient. They are saddled with the responsibility of understanding the pathophysiology of why diseases happen, mechanisms of how drugs and medications work, and performing surgeries on patients in the hospital. Doctors are more at risk of being sued for malpractice and other medical legal reasons than nurses. Unlike doctors, nurses are more involved in direct bedside care of a patient. They learn about diseases and symptoms, administer prescribed medications to patients, start up intravenous fluid, and write down detailed assessments of the patients. Nurses love their patients and take care of their patients. They are usually the first ones to notice something that is wrong, such as a symptom or a mistake because they are always in the world with their patients. They are the patient's advocate. Nurses are always there from admission to discharge. 
they are closer to the patient than doctors as doctors interact very little with their patients compared to nurses. By always being around the patient, nurses are able to develop trusting relationship with the patient which leads to effective interactions between them and the patient or patient relatives. If you are still watching this video at this point and probably finding it helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Moving on, another reason why you might want to pick nursing school over medical school or medical school over nursing school could be because of the salary structure or income. Generally, going to medical school is more profitable than nursing school as doctors earn more income than nurses. Yes, doctors have a higher salary structure than nurses. This is mainly because of their education, title and license. Medicine is a profession of treating diseases and disease processes through drugs and other forms of invasive or non-invasive procedures. All of these require an expertise that costs money to perform. The more these approaches are required to treat a patient, the more money it costs. Doctors can easily open their own private practice and nurses cannot. Nursing is a profession of care delivery. That is, the profession does not deal with treating diseases and disease processes. Nurses care for injuries administer medications, record detailed medical histories, monitor heart rate and blood pressure, and admit and discharge patients according to the physician's order. A medical doctor who just finishes medical school and joins a hospital could earn more than a nurse who has been working with the hospital for a few years. Nevertheless, some nurses can still make more money than doctors depending on the specialty and level of qualification of the nurse and doctor. There are nurses who occupy positions of leadership and authority such as chief nursing officer, CNO, directors and CEOs and make more money than a lot of medical doctors. Moving on, the last comparison we are going to make between nursing school and medical school is in terms of a balanced lifestyle. Nurses are more likely to start a family and become a parent first than doctors. They have more flexibility on the job than doctors and thus more family time. Their job is less demanding and they can easily prioritize their family before their career. Nurses work in set shifts of 8 hours for 5 days in a week or 12 hours in 4 days in a week while doctors are on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Also, nursing school takes about 5 to 7 years to complete while medical school takes about 12 to 15 years to complete. That is, 6 to 7 years in the university. 5 to 7 years in postgraduate residency training and 1 to 2 years fellowship training program after the residency program. Keeping all of this in mind, it becomes easy to understand why nurses tend to start a family sooner than doctors. Even when doctors get to finally start a family, they receive phone calls and messages from the hospital about emergencies and have to answer to them. The concepts of doctors and nurses are different but connected. We need nurses just as much as we need doctors. Both have pros and cons. There are great things about being a doctor and terrible things about being a doctor. I hope this video opened your eyes and see why nursing school may be better for you as opposed to medical school or why medical school might be better for you as opposed to nursing school. In the end, the career choice you make depends on you and being happy with your choice is all that matters. Thank you so much for staying with us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps the channel grow. Also, please don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues as I am quite sure that there are people in your circle that will find the information contained in this video valuable.